Do you have any tomatoes we might borrow? Borrow? You can take as many tomatoes as you like. The tomatoes have done very well this year. They look a lot bigger than your tomatoes, Grandpa. They may be bigger, but that doesn't mean they're better. Pepper, would you like to taste one? Yes, please. Mmm, yummy. That is the best tomato I have ever tasted, ever. Ah, how did you grow them, Grandad Dog? I didn't really mean to grow them. I just threw some old tomato seeds down in the corner there and they grew. Fill your basket. There's too many for me to eat. Thank you. We're going to make a lovely tomato salad. Ah, I know a great recipe for a tomato salad. Lovely. Can you make it for us? The problem is, my recipe needs basil, and I haven't managed to grow any basil. My grandpa has lots of lovely basil. Really? Oh, yes. Grown heaps of the stuff. Let me show you. Very impressive. Tell me, what's the secret of growing basil? Well, it's quite tricky. The first thing you have to do... I throw some seeds in a pot and the basil grows. You mean it just grows by itself? Uh... Yes. Is it lunchtime yet, Granny? Oh, my poor darlings, you must be starving. Let's make that tomato salad. First we slice the tomatoes. Add a little splash of olive oil, a shake of pepper, a teeny tiny pinch of salt, and finish the whole thing off with these lovely basil leaves. Tuck in, everyone. Mmm. <laughs> Marvellous tomatoes. Thanks to my greenhouse. Mmm, beautiful basil. Thanks to my greenhouse. This is the best tomato salad in the world ever. <laughs> Ask me anything you like about fruit and vegetables. Anything. What is the tallest building you've ever jumped? What's that? Why do I like carrots so much? I'll tell you why. Because they are so tasty. Can you run faster than a train? Which vegetable makes you run fast? That's a good question. I would have to say a Brussels sprout. Have you ever eaten a potato? Uh, fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Doctors now recommend you eat seven a day. Uh, always remember to eat your seven. Right. Let's all give Super Potato a nice big clap for coming to see us today. Thank you. Thank you. And remember, kids, eat fruit and vegetables. Super Potato has left the building. Oh, dear. Did I miss him? Yes! yes. He was brilliant. Well, it was lovely to see you all, but I'd better be going too. Bye. Come on, children. Let's wave <laughs> Mr. Potato goodbye. Oh, dear. Mr. Potato's car won't start. Ah, I cannot get out. Mr. Potato is stuck. Help, let me out. What shall we do? Help, Call help. for Super Potato. Let me out. Super Potato. Super I think he might be Super too potato. busy to come. No, really, really, Super I do potato. not think that will work this time. No, Madam Gazelle, you just need to shout out with us. OK. Help us, Super, Super potato. potato! There, it didn't work. Now I think we What's need to... What's that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a potato. By the power of vegetables, I am here. Hooray! Seeds? What do seeds do? Seeds grow into plants. I just make a little hole and put the seed in. Then I cover it with earth and water it. Everything in my garden grows from tiny seeds like these. Even the big apple tree? Oh, yes. This tiny seed will grow into a little apple tree like this. And that little apple tree will grow into a big apple tree, like this. Ouch! Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
And inside this apple are more seeds. To make more apple trees. Exactly. Grandpa, Grandpa! I want to plant a seed. Would you like to plant a strawberry seed? Yes, please. This seed will grow into a lovely strawberry plant. First, make a little hole. Then I put the seed in and cover it with earth. Shall I water it for you? No, no. I want to water it. Good. Now we wait for it to grow. Pepper and George are waiting for the seed to grow. It's not doing anything. <laughs> You'll have to be patient, Peppa. It will take a long time to grow. Peppa, George, it's time to go home. But we're waiting for my strawberry plant to grow. <laughs> I want the strawberries for tea. Don't worry, Peppa. Next time you come, the seed will have grown into a plant. Pig has made pizza for lunch. And here's some salad made with Grandpa's tomatoes, lettuce, and cucumber. Tuck in, everyone. <laughs> George has eaten his pizza. But George does not like the tomatoes, or the lettuce, or the cucumber. Oh dear, George, don't you like the salad? No. George, just try a little bit of this lovely tomato. Yuck. George, this is cucumber. Grandpa Pig grew it in his garden. Yeah. Try a piece of lettuce, George. It's yummy. Now, now, George. <laughs> Look what I'm doing. Now it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. George is eating the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Well done, George. Would you like some more, George? So. Oh. George, are you too full to eat any more tomatoes, lettuce or cucumber? George is too full to eat any more. George, are you too full to eat anything more? George is too full to eat anything more. Oh, well. Then you won't want any of this chocolate cake. Chocolate cake! <laughs> My word! George seems to have got his appetite back. <laughs> Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions and fruit. I'll find it all. <laughs> this way. Pepper and George love shopping. <laughs> Pepper, first we need tomatoes. Hmm. I can see them, I can see them. Here are the tomatoes, Mummy. Well done, Pepper. One, two, three, four. Now, put them in the trolley. I found the tomatoes. Well done, Pepper. Tomatoes. That's one thing off the list. What's next on the list? Spaghetti! Pigetti! That's right, George, but it's called spaghetti. Pigetti! <sniffs> spaghetti is Pepper and George's favourite food. I wonder where the spaghetti is. I can see it! <sniffs> this way! Spaghetti! Look, Mummy, here's the spaghetti! Well done, Pepper. Let's put the spaghetti in the trolley. Yes, Mummy! <sniffs> Pigetti! <laughs> George? It's called spaghetti. Pigetti. <laughs> <laughs> What's next on the list, Peppa? Crisps. Crisps are not on the list. We have plenty of crisps at home, Peppa. Have another guess. Hmm. I just can't remember. Can you remember, George? Dinosaur. 
dinosaur. Dinosaur? George, there aren't any dinosaurs in the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> no, George. The next thing on the list is onions. Onions. I remember now. Here they are. <laughs> well done. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Peppa, what have you got in your lunchbox? A red apple. I've got a green apple. Let's swap. OK. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, what are you doing? Susie told me to open my lunchbox. Peppa told me to swap our apples. Oh, that's fine. But please, save some food for the picnic. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> the bus has arrived at the foot of the mountains. The mountain road is very steep. Come on, bus. You can make it. Come on, bus. Pepper and her friends are at the top of the mountain. Look at the view. Wow! 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 Who said that? It's your echo. What's my echo? An echo is the sound you hear when you speak loudly in the mountains. Like this. Your leg. Your leg. Your leg. <laughs> Him. Yo do they yo Yo do they yo Yo do they yo Echoes are fun. Time for our picnic. <laughs> Pepper loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Where are the ducks? They always turn up when we have picnics. Silly Pepper. Ducks don't live on top of mountains. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Hello, Mrs. Duck. Would you like some bread? <coughs> the ducks are very lucky today. There is lots of bread. The ducks are eating too quickly. First, you have to twitch your nose and squeak. Like this. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> Very good, Peppa Rabbit and George Rabbit. Peppa likes being a rabbit. George likes being a rabbit. Rabbits like carrots. Delicious. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Yuck. George does not like carrots. He won't even try them. Oh, well, more for us then. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, what else do rabbits like? Rabbits like hopping. Come outside, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop. <laughs> rabbits like hopping. You're very good, Rabbit. Lunchtime, children! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Rabbit have prepared lunch. Squeak. Rebecca has taught us how to be rabbits. Squeak! Squeak! Ho oh, ho! You'll enjoy lunch then. It's our favourite carrots. Delicious! Delicious! Yuck! <laughs> George will not eat carrots. Oh dear, George. I thought you were a rabbit. Rabbits love carrots. Squeak! Squeak! Mmm. Wow! George is eating a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our favourite cake. Carrot cake. Hooray! Mmm. Carrot cake. <laughs> George is a proper rabbit now. Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> Daddy Pig is making vegetable soup for lunch. Daddy, can I help? Thank you, Pepper. Can you clear away all these vegetable peelings? OK. <laughs> Stop, Pepper. Vegetable peelings don't go in the normal bin. 
They go in this brown bin. Ooh, banana! That's right, George. It's a banana skin. And there are onions and carrots and all sorts of fruit and vegetable leftovers in here. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa will like these. Do Granny and Grandpa Pig eat potato peelings? <laughs> no, Peppa. They're for Grandpa's garden. They help his plants grow. Oh. We can take these round there after lunch. Oh, goody. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are taking the vegetable peelings over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. We are here. Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig, Papa Pig, we've got a special present for you. Ah, vegetable peelings. <laughs> Fantastic. My garden will like these. Does your garden? Eat vegetables? Oh, 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 no, Peppa. These peelings are for my compost heap. What's that? I'll show you. Here it is. It's a wooden box. Yes, Peppa, but it's a very clever wooden box. I put these peelings in the top and then out of the bottom comes lovely rich earth called compost. How does it do that? Is it a magic box? Oh, oh no, Peppa. I've got some little friends that give it some help. Where? In here. Look. Ah, wriggly worms. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> the worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. Come and see my carrots. Grandpa Pig is very proud of his vegetables. Ooh. And here are my peas. Oh. But best of all are my lettuces. Oh, no! My lettuces! I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes, birds. Why didn't Mr Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <coughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. Wow! Say hello to Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Hello. <coughs> and here is Neville. <coughs> Is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Pepper. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. <coughs> and he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <coughs> Come on, this way home. <coughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <coughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <coughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh. It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Hi, hi, Granny, Granny Pig. We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? 
it. I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa. It's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Mm. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush. Apple, apple orange, banana, banana pear and pineapple too. Eat five pieces of fruit a day because they're good for you. <laughs> Welcome to Fruit Day, where the magic of fruit never ends. Wow, so much fruit. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello. We are choosing our favourite fruit. What's your favourite? Um, I like apples. I like oranges. I like bananas. I like carrots. Carrots are not a fruit. Oh, carrots are a vegetable. Edmund is a bit of a clever clogs. What's your favourite fruit, George? Is it bananas or oranges? George likes strawberries the best. Strawberry. George loves strawberries. Smoothies. Get your fruit smoothies here. <laughs> <laughs> What's a fruit smoothie? It's a drink made from fruit. Would you like one? Yes, please. Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, bananas and more apples. An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. <laughs> Mmm, delicious. Can I have a smoothie, please? Me too. And me. And me. Of course. What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK. Cheese, please. Pedro, cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. <laughs> This looks like fun. I'll be able to cycle and watch TV at the same time. It's impossible. This bike is too noisy. I can't hear the TV. You've got to get fit somehow. I know. You can use my bicycle. Yes, and then you'll get some fresh air as well. Daddy Pig is going to ride on Peppa's little bicycle. Daddy, these are the pedals. These are the brakes, and this is the bell. Yes, yes, thank you, Peppa. I know. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is pie. <laughs> Getting fit is quite hard work. <sighs> now I can get fit without having to pedal. Daddy Pig is going very fast. Oh, maybe I'd better slow down. Ah, the brakes aren't strong enough. Help! Ah! <laughs> Daddy Pig has been gone for a long time. Mummy, where can Daddy be? Don't worry, Peppa. Daddy must be really enjoying himself to be away for so long. <laughs> Daddy! Where have you been? I whizzed all the way down the hill. Then I had to push the bike all the way back up again. Oh, poor Daddy Pig. 
Well, at least I've done my exercise. Yes, for today. What do you mean? You'll have to do some more exercise tomorrow. What? Daddy, to get fit, you have to exercise every day. Oh, no. But don't worry, Daddy. I'll make sure you do it. Yes, I know you will. <laughs> 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 the tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready, steady, now, Peppa! Kylie is being carried along by a wave. <laughs> Don't miss the next one, Peppa! <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Whee! Isn't it awesome? <laughs> surfing is the best thing ever. It's true. <laughs> surfing is the best thing ever. Ready, steady, go! Whee! <laughs> George wants to go surfing. Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown-ups to surf. That's proper surfing. Woohoo! These waves are awesome. Wow. wow! Kylie, where's your little brother? He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> Your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Aw, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. <laughs> Children! Hello, Miss Rabbit. We've come for our gym lesson. Yes, the children are very excited. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll just set up the gym for you. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just keep relaxing. Oh, hello, Pepper. I've come to do a class. Me too. See you later. <laughs> now, where were we? Uh, we were just starting to relax. Oh, yes. Think of a beautiful woodland glade. Stillness, silence. <laughs> Children, are you ready for your gym class? Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What's that? I can't hear you. Surely you can shout louder than that. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle! Good! I want to see lots of jumping and climbing and running. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. Quicker, quicker! <laughs> Calm, harmony, stillness. Jump, jump, jump! Relax! Hello, Mummy Pig. What are you doing here? I'm doing a relaxation class. Well, I hope this children's party doesn't disturb you. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun. I wonder how high I can go. <laughs> Just try to relax. Stop relaxing now. Relaxation class is over. How did you find it, Mummy Pig? Very, very stressful. Funny. That's what everybody says. Why don't you have a go on the bouncy castle? <laughs> yes, I think I will. Whee! This is wonderful. I feel lovely and relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Ooh. Hello, Peppa. Hello, 
Mr Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh. Would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, oh, thank, thank you. you. Mr Bull and Mrs Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> it's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there. <sniffs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh! And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Oh. Oh. Fun, wasn't it? Yes. Not yes. Lots lots of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> to me, George. Throw it to me. <laughs> oh, George has thrown the ball backwards. George! I'll fetch it. <laughs> Danny is good at fetching the ball. <laughs> I like fetching. That's good, because fetching is an important part of bat and ball too. Can we play bat and ball now? Yes, Peppa will throw the ball. I'm good at that. And Susie will hit the ball with this bat. I'm good at that. The rest of us will all run after the ball. And I'm good at that. Susie, you will run around the cones like this to win a point. Ooh. But if anyone catches the ball, Susie is out and gets no points. Ah. Oh. Let's play. Everyone takes their positions for bat and ball. Are you ready, Susie? Stand back, everyone. I'm going to hit it a million miles. Ooh. Ready? Ready. Run, Susie, run! Oh, yes. <laughs> Quick, get the ball. Get it. <laughs> I got all the way around. I win one point. Well done, Susie. Now it's George's turn to bet. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I think George is too young to do bat and ball. You're never too young to play bat and ball, Peppa. Oh, all right. Just try your best, George. <laughs> <gasps> George has hit the ball backwards. Run, George! <laughs> <laughs> Get it! Get the ball! Oh, fetch it! <laughs> George has run all the way round and scored a point. Hooray! <laughs> Very good, George! <laughs> Thank you, Danny. To play basketball, you need to train hard and keep fit. Are you fit, Daddy Coach? Yes, I'm super fit. But, Daddy Coach, you've got a big tummy. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> First, I'll teach you how to get the ball from here to here. I can do that. No, Daddy. You can't use your feet. That's football. Danny Dog likes football. In basketball, you bounce the ball with your hands, like this. Who wants a go? Me, me, me! Susie Sheep is bouncing the basketball very carefully. Well done, Susie. Now everyone try. Everyone is learning how to bounce the ball. Now, I'll teach you 
tackling. What's tackling? Tackling is trying to get the ball from another player, like this. Try and get the ball from me, George. <laughs> George is very good at tackling. Now throw the ball through the hoop. <laughs> you need just a bit more training there, George. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a little practice game. Split into two teams. Boys against girls. <laughs> <laughs> the girls are in one team, the boys are in the other. That's not fair. We've got little ones on our team. Don't worry, the boys' team will still win. Yeah, we're a super team. <whistles> ah. Emily Elephant is very good at reaching high with her trunk. Emily's using her trunk. It's not fair. Shush, Peppa. She's on our side. Oh, yes, that is fair. Side. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh! That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. <laughs> I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! love the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and wrap your arms. <laughs> now, stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> and rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. That's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> but it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. Done, my little explorers. What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! I can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. 
go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. <laughs> that was fun. Wow, you're fast. All thanks to my wheelchair. <laughs> Why do you have a wheelchair, Mandy? <laughs> because my legs don't work like yours. Can you walk on your legs? No, I have my wheels. <laughs> See, I get around fine. I can do everything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play ball. Yes, please. Squeak. Okay, Mandy, you're on my team. <laughs> Susie, you're on my team. <laughs> Gerald, <laughs> Pedro, <laughs> Molly, Squeak. and Emily. <laughs> The children are in two teams. How do you play this game? The captain takes the ball and throws it over there. No, I know the rules and you're the not one no, the rules. I say you do it this that way. That is the rules because I said so. <laughs> what about the team who gets the ball through the hoop wins? <laughs> OK. And they're off. <laughs> Emily Elephant catches the ball. <laughs> Now Susie has it. <laughs> Pass to Pedro. And now to Pepper. Mandy takes the ball. Pass to Danny. <laughs> to Molly. And up high in the sky. Caught by Mandy Mouse. <laughs> to Gerald Giraffe. <laughs> Goal! Hooray! Mandy, you're good. I know. I'm brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Children, playtime is over. <laughs> <laughs> can I help you? No, I'll be fine. <laughs> I can do it by myself. <laughs> I like hills. <laughs> it is a big hill. Yes, it is a big hill. Maybe if you could help push. OK. Thank you, Peppa. I could do it on my own, but it's easier with two. I'm not used to big hills. Squeak. Now you must run to the real Windy Castle. Oh. Ready, steady, go. Hooray! <laughs> The school bus has made it to Windy Castle. Now everyone can enjoy the picnic. Water! Water! What a lovely hot day! And such a relaxing way to raise money, too. Water! Water! Daddy Pig has reached the supermarket. All the running has made him very thirsty. Let's look through the telescope. I can see Daddy. The telescope makes everything look closer. Oh, he's not going very fast. Daddy Pig has arrived at Grandad Dog's garage. Oh, that's it. I can't go on. Daddy has stopped. Oh. You look rather hot. You need something to cool you down and give you energy. Have an ice lolly. Thank you, Grandad Dog. That's nice. Ah, a wasp. Shoo, shoo. Get away, you little pest. The wasp wants to share Daddy Pig's ice lolly. No, this is my lolly. Daddy started running again. Really fast. Hooray! Ah, get off. Get off. You can stop now, Daddy Pig. We have enough money to fix the school roof. Ah! Daddy Pig uh, has lost the wasp. I like sand. I like sea. I like Susie.
to skip with me. <laughs> <laughs> I like ping. I like pong. I like Zoe to skip along. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's see who can skip the most without stopping. I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Zoe wins. Hooray! 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 Nay! <laughs> Petro, do you want to do some skipping? No, thanks, Peppa. I'm hula hooping. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wiggle waggle wee. Hula hoop, hula hoop. One, two, three. Ooh! How many can you do without stopping? A million and three. Wow! That's a lot. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was eight. I'm a bit tired. I'll do the rest later. <laughs> can you do hula hoops, Emily? I can do them my own special way. Emily Elephant is hula hooping with her trunk. Hooray! I think that was about 100. <laughs> George wants to play leapfrog. George likes playing leapfrog. <laughs> leapfrog, everybody. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> <laughs> Playtime is over. <laughs> it is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Pepper is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> oh, here it is. <coughs> oh, he keeps turning his head. <coughs> Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you, he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Peppa, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Peppa's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. <laughs> George's first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> this is Mr Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <laughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Are we all ready? Yes, yes Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Whee! I'm winning. It's not a race, Pepper. It's just a gentle bicycle ride. Yes, Daddy. But I'm still winning. <laughs> <laughs> now we're winning. <laughs> I don't like cycling uphill. Peppa, we won the race. No, you didn't, Daddy, because I wasn't racing that time. 
But now I am. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> you cheeky little piggy. <laughs> Hello, ducks. We're having a cycle ride. <laughs> Hello, ducks. <laughs> Ah, I'd forgotten how much I love cycling. Mm. Oh, I'd forgotten how much I hate cycling up hills. The ground is getting quite steep. <sighs> I don't like cycling up hills. But look at the beautiful view. My goodness, this is hard work. Mummy Pig, you're not peddling. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy Pig. I was just enjoying the view. <laughs> Pepper and her family have reached the top of the hill. <laughs> All Pepper's friends are here. Hello, Pepper. Hello. We're going to have a race on our bikes. <laughs> Pepper, do you want to race too? <laughs> okay, as long as we can race downhill. Okay. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are going to race down the hill. Are you all ready? Ready! You can start when I honk the horn, like this. Woo! Pedro has set off too soon. Me. Sorry, Richard. I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy! I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Pepper. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy, your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Pepper. I told you I wouldn't splash. <laughs> Clever, Daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Yeah. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Is the water cold? It's lovely and warm. Steady <laughs> 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 <Get it> on! <laughs> you started it, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Maybe that's enough splashing. <laughs> Whee! Daddy, I love being at the beach. Pepper and George love the beach. Everyone loves the beach. Pepper, George, would you like to play with your buckets and spades? Yes, please, Mummy. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, can we bury you in the sand? Uh, well... Please, Daddy. Oh, all right. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are burying Daddy Pig in the sand. Steady on! <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you can't escape. <laughs> my head is getting a bit hot. Can I have my straw hat? Well, if you say please. Please, can I have my straw hat? 
Yes, you may, Daddy. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, maybe I'll just have a little sleep. <laughs> <laughs> George, let's make sandcastles. Pepper and George are making sandcastles. First we put sand in the buckets, like this. We turn the buckets upside down and tap them. And lift the bucket up. Hey, presto! A sandcastle. Hey, presto! Another sandcastle. Pepper, George, home time! <laughs> the wind is quite strong now. The wind is very strong now. George! <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig flies the kite. Hooray! <laughs> higher, higher. <laughs> Daddy Pig flies the kite very well. Wow. Yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. Watch out for the trees. You might get the kite stuck in one. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has got the kite caught in a tree. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. <laughs> Daddy will get the kite down. Hooray! <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Careful! There's a big muddy puddle. Pepper and George love to jump in muddy puddles. Can we jump in the puddle? Please? <laughs> no, I don't want you covered in mud. Oh. Stand back, children. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. Please be careful. <laughs> Just a bit further, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you are much too heavy for that branch. Nonsense! I know exactly how heavy I am. <laughs> Mummy is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> Catch, George. Oh, missed it. George has caught the ball. Hooray! <laughs> well done, George. Now you throw the ball to Pepper. Oh, try again. Oh, try again. George cannot throw the ball past Mummy Pig. Come on, George, give the ball to me. <laughs> <laughs> Silly George. <laughs> I can do that too. <laughs> Pepper wanted to copy George, but she's too big and has got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the ball. Pepper, now it's your turn to be piggy. George, catch. Hooray! Hooray! Got it! George, you're the piggy. <laughs> George, catch! <laughs> catch the ball, George. <laughs> catch, George. <laughs> George, catch! <laughs> Here's the ball, George. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh dear, Peppa, you shouldn't tease George like that. <laughs> Sorry, George. <laughs> What's all the noise? Daddy, George is too little to play piggy in the middle. Oh, I'm sure he's big enough. No, he isn't, Daddy. Watch. Catch it, George. Hooray! Children <laughs> 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 have 
to run as fast as they can. I think I will win. I can run very fast. <laughs> I'm faster than you. Ready, steady, go! I can run at a hundred miles an hour. I can run at a million miles an hour. Peppa, Susie, stop talking and run! Oh! Rebecca Rabbit is in the lead. Oh dear, Peppa and Susie are right at the back. Come on, Peppa! Come on, Danny! Rebecca Rabbit wins. <laughs> and Peppa and Susie are last. The winner of the race is Rebecca Rabbit. Hooray! Squeak! Thank you. <laughs> I would have won if you hadn't been talking to me, Susie. Now, now, Peppa. Remember, it's not winning that matters, but taking part. Yes, Daddy. The next event is the long jump. <laughs> George and Richard have to see who can jump the furthest. George, run as fast as you can, then jump as far as you can. <laughs> George, ready, steady, go! <laughs> George has jumped as far as he can. And now it's Richard Rabbit's turn. If Richard doesn't run, he won't jump very far. Richard Rabbit. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Richard Rabbit has jumped further than George. And the winner is Richard Rabbit. Hooray! <laughs> George, remember, it's not the winning that matters, but taking part. <laughs> the next race is the relay. To you, Susie. Oh, missed it. Ball boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ball boy. Oh, ball boy. Thank you, ball boy. Ball boy! Oh dear, George doesn't like this game. Here are Danny Dog, Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Rebecca Rabbit and Richard Rabbit. Hello everyone! Hello! Hello. We're playing tennis. Can we play too? But there aren't enough rackets. Oh. oh. Let's play something else. Let's play football. Yes, football! <laughs> Girls against boys. <laughs> <laughs> we each need a goalkeeper. Me, 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 me! <laughs> Pedro Pony and Rebecca Rabbit will be the goalkeepers. We'll start. <laughs> Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. The boys are winning. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. We weren't ready. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. You can't hold the ball. Yes, I can. I'm the goalkeeper. Go, go Rebecca, go. Go. <laughs> go. Hooray. The goal is not allowed. Yes, it is. No, no it, it isn't. isn't. Yes, yes, it is. No, what it a isn't. lot of noise. Daddy. The boys are cheating. No, the girls are cheating. It sounds like you need a referee. What's a referee? It's someone who makes sure that everyone plays fair. Every morning, Peppa and George brush their teeth. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are going to the dentist. Peppa? George, are you ready to go for your checkup? I'm too busy for a checkup. I'm having a tea party with Teddy. Yes, we're very busy. We all need checkups to make sure our teeth are clean and healthy. Okay, Daddy. George, are your teeth clean like mine? It is George's first visit to the dentist. You both have lovely clean teeth. I'm sure the dentist will be very happy. <laughs> Peppa and George are at the dentist's, waiting for their checkup. Uh, waiting is boring. 
This magazine's very interesting. It's all about potatoes. <sighs> Peppa, George, the dentist will see you now. Hooray! <laughs> this is Dr Elephant, the dentist. Hello, Peppa. Have you been brushing your teeth? Yes, Dr Elephant. Good. Now, who's first? I'm first because I'm a big girl. <laughs> Watch me, George. Sit in the chair, please. <laughs> Hold tight. Whee! <laughs> Open wide, please. Ah! Wider, please. Ah! Now, let's take a look. Dr Elephant uses a little mirror to look at Peppa's teeth. I hope you haven't been eating too many sweeties, Peppa. <laughs> it is quite difficult to speak when your mouth is wide open. <laughs> <laughs> there. All done. What lovely clean teeth. She takes after me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have the special pink drink now? Yes, but don't drink it, Peppa. Spit it out. Let's race to Daddy Pig's pumpkin. If we race to Daddy's pumpkin, we have to be very careful not to bump into it. <coughs> Daddy would be very sad if the pumpkin got broken. Don't worry, Peppa. Race you! <laughs> Peppa and her friends are racing to Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Hey, watch out for my pumpkin! <laughs> Peppa, look out! Daddy's pumpkin! Ah! Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> look at George, he's going so slowly. <laughs> George is still riding a baby bike. <laughs> Yours is a baby bike too, Peppa. You've still got stabilizers. I can ride without my stabilizers. <laughs> Me too! And me! <coughs> Let's ride up the hill again. <coughs> Are you coming, Peppa? No, I think I'll stay here. <coughs> <coughs> See you later! Bye. Peppa wishes she did not have stabilizers on her bicycle. <coughs> Daddy, I don't want stabilizers anymore. Do you think you can ride without them? <coughs> yes! All right, Peppa. Let's take them off. Daddy Pig is taking the stabilizers off Peppa's bicycle. Are you sure you want to ride without stabilizers? Yes. You've never done it before. I can do it. I can, I can. Ah! <laughs> it's not funny. Riding without stabilizers is not easy. Would you like some help, Peppa? Yes, please, Daddy. All right. Ready, steady, go! Don't let go, Daddy. Don't worry, I've got you. You're doing really well, Pepper. Daddy Pig is home from work. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig? We've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. No, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. But I can't wear a pink football shirt. Why not, Daddy? Pink is a lovely colour. Hmm. What do you think, George? Yuck. George does not like pink. Here are Daddy Pig's friends, Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? He'll just be a moment. My team are in white. I need a white shirt. But, Daddy, you have a white shirt. Just take off your jacket. See? Fantastic! Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, everyone. 
Hello, oh, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Like your shirt. Very smart. Thank you. Come on, let's play football. Yes! Go! Go! Hooray! 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 Daddy, you've made your shirt all muddy. <laughs> of course, Pepper. Football shirts are meant to be muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves playing football. Everyone loves playing football, especially when it's muddy. <laughs> Fantastic! We must all exercise and eat fruit and vegetables. Which one should we eat, Mr Potato? Apples, oranges, carrots, tomatoes. Potatoes? Um... Why aren't you small, like a normal potato? Uh... Because he's not a normal potato. He's got legs. Normal potatoes don't have legs. He's a super potato. <laughs> we watch your show every morning. Very good. And remember to send me your drawings. We will! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we will do drawings for Mr. Potato. Hooray! I'm drawing a pineapple. I'm drawing a carrot. Very good. What are you drawing, Emily? A pea. Lovely. And Pedro? It's a super potato. Oh, I see. And George has drawn a wonderful tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, what vegetable have you drawn? My daddy, watching television. Oh, excellent. Now, we put the drawings in an envelope and post them to Mr Potato. <coughs> it is morning and time for the Mr Potato Show. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr Potato! We posted some drawings to Mr Potato in an envelope. Did you get the envelope? He can't hear you, Daddy. He's on television. Oh, yes, of course. I've received an envelope full of drawings. This tomato looks very juicy. That's George's picture. <laughs> <laughs> well done, George. But this picture from Peppa Pig is my favourite. What? Is this your first time skating? <laughs> yes. Shall I show you how to skate? No, thank you, Susie. I'm sure I can already do it. OK, come on, then. Ooh. <laughs> 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 this is impossible. I don't want to do ice skating anymore. Don't worry, Pepper. Everyone falls over when they ice skate. Even I fall over. Watch this. Oops a daisy. Ho ho. Silly Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before. And he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Peppa how to skate. Skating is easy, Peppa. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. Well done, Peppa. <laughs> Look at me. I'm skating. Peppa is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> Slow down, Peppa. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Oh, where are the brakes? Oh, dear. I forgot to teach Pepper how to stop. Oh. Ah! I can't stop! Look out! Woo! <laughs> 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 Mummy Pig taught you how to skate, but I taught you how to fall over. Yes. I'm very good at falling over. 
is like the path in Little Red Riding Hood. I wouldn't be surprised if we bumped into the big bad wolf. <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr. Wolf. Hello, Mr. Wolf. How are you? Very well, thank you. Just a little bit hungry. I'm trying to decide where to go for lunch. I'm going to my granny's house for lunch. Are you really? Yes. Is it far? Not far. This is the shortcut. We'll be there soon. Very good. Oh, well. Catch you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Meeting Mr Wolf in the middle of the woods when I'm going to Granny's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Daddy Pig? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a little house over there. Let's ask them the way. Hello? Is there anybody home? I wonder who lives here in the middle of the woods. There are three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. Hello, Peppa. Here are Belinda Bear and Mummy and Daddy Bear. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello, Mr and Mrs Bear. Sorry to trouble you. The door was open, so we came inside. It's quite all right. It's lovely to see you. Are you going to stay for lunch, Peppa? It's porridge. <laughs> it's not too hot or too cold, but just right. <laughs> We're actually on our way to have lunch at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Could you point us in the right direction, please? <laughs> that path there will take you to Granny Pig's house. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wow. That was just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes, with a little house and three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a fairy tale. Peppa has arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, we're here. Hello. Oh. Here is Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf, why are you here? I'm just round for something to eat. Your granny has made a lovely lunch. You have to huff. Huff. And you have to puff. Puff. And blow. <laughs> so many bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the sky. Ooh. Look at that big bubble. That's not a bubble, Pedro. That's the full moon. Ah, and you know what you do when you see a full moon? Um, you howl. Ah Why do you do that? That's what wolves do. We howl at the moon. Wendy, can they teach us how to do that? OK. First, you have to look up at the moon. And then you howl. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Wendy Wolf has taught everyone how to howl like a wolf. Ow! Ow! Wow! Who did that one? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't any of us. Ow! It's a wild animal! Ah! Ow! It is Granny Wolf. Happy birthday, Wendy. Hello, Granny. You must all be Wendy's friends. How do you do? Hello, Hello Granny Wolf. <sniffs> My, what big ears you've got, Granny Wolf. <laughs> all the better to hear you with. What big eyes you've got, Granny Wolf. All the better to see you with. And what big teeth you've got. All the better to eat birthday cake. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Wendy, what's that in the middle of your cake? It is a little house made of sticks. Ah! Oh. Time to blow out the candles, Wendy. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the candles out. <gasps> You've blown the stick house down. Oh, well done. That's my go. I brought you a fried egg sandwich. Oh. Land ahoy! <laughs> the 
ferry has arrived in France. Remember, Daddy Pig? They might drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. You see, it's just like driving at home. Ah, Hello there. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived in Paris. Delphine Donkey and her family are here to meet them. Bonjour. Bonjour, Delphine. Bonjour <laughs> means hello in French. <laughs> what would you like to see in Paris? I want to see everything. Oh, <laughs> it is impossible to see everything. In that case, I would like to see the real hidden Paris. The Paris that the tourists don't see. Bravo, Mr. Pig. Tell me, which part of the real hidden Paris would you like to see first? The Eiffel Tower. Ah, OK. This is the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is busy. Imagine what the tourist places must be like. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs! Get your little Eiffel Towers here! The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. I'm glad that's over. Oh, no! That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But how can you work in the sea? With this submarine. Wow! Do you want a ride? Yes, please. OK, hop in. <laughs> wow! It's all the colours of the rainbow! That's coral. Coral is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh! And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Pepper. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If every visitor took a little bit of coral home... Soon, all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah! Oh, look! Little fish. They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there. A big blue starfish. There's a tiny red one. And a spiky green one. What's that? That's a turtle. Ooh. Hello, Mrs. Turtle. How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Peppa? <laughs> Look, a little bridge, just like in your fish tank. Oh, oh, oh you're right, Peppa. It is quite like the fish tank here, except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins. Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. Please, can we have some glitter? Please! Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very, very careful with it. We promise. OK. I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madame Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah! Glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. 
<laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm here to pick up Pepper and George, but I can't see them anywhere. I'm a pretty butterfly. <laughs> flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Butterfly. I'm looking for two little piggies. Do you know where I can find them? <laughs> I tricked you! It's me! <gasps> Peppa! What a surprise! But where is George? <laughs> ah! <laughs> George, it's you! <laughs> I thought you were a dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I can't find Rebecca and Richard! Would you mind if I took these two carrots home instead? <laughs> Silly Mummy, it's us! Oh, <laughs> Rebecca, Richard. <laughs> Come on, Pedro. Time to go home. I am not Pedro. I am Super Pony. Oh, does Super Pony want to come home or does Super Pony want to stay here for the night? Come home with you, please, Mummy. <laughs> Haven't we all had fun making wonderful masks? Who are you? It is I, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves masks. Everyone loves masks. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. <laughs> oh. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs. Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll go, Peppa. <laughs> Good shot, Peppa. <laughs> oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. It's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs. Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. <laughs> OK, everybody, it's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Peppa. Yippee! I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Peppa. Oh, goody. Night-night. Night-night. <laughs> Peppa and George are asleep after their first day on holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Oh, somebody's hiding an egg. It must be the Easter Bunny. I wish we could see the real Easter Bunny. Maybe we can see it through the window. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see anything. We're never going to see the Easter Bunny. Ahem. <gasps> Remember, no peeking. Sorry, Mummy. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How are your carrots? What carrots? The carrots you went out to check. Oh, uh, they're fine. Daddy, did you see the Easter Bunny? Uh, no, uh, but I'm sure the Easter Bunny will have been by now. Do you think the children can start looking for the eggs yet? Oh, yes, I would say so. <laughs> right, are you ready to find the eggs the Easter Bunny has hidden? Yes! Ready? When you have found all the eggs, we share them out equally. Steady! There should be one egg Go! for every child. Don't worry if it takes you a long time to find them. Danny Dog has found an egg under a plant pot. <laughs> Susie Sheep has found one in a bush. Pepper has found an egg in a tree. George has found one in a bucket. Finished! Wow! 
Wow, that was quick. And with one egg each. Great. Wait, what's that over there? It's the Easter Bunny. Shh, let's creep up quietly. Yes. <laughs> now we'll see what the Easter Bunny looks like. <laughs> that is not the Easter Bunny. That is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh, we thought you were the Easter Bunny. No, I'm me. And I found an egg. <laughs> We've all found eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bunny and I like to play. I hop, skip and jump and I play all day. Oh no! What's the matter, Pepper? My tyre has gone flat. It's only a puncture. I'm a bit of an expert at mending punctures. First, we take off the wheel. Next, we take the tyre off the wheel. Are you coming, Peppa? Then we need a bucket of water. Can you do it quickly, Daddy? I won't be long, Peppa. While you wait, you could pretend to ride a bicycle. Pretend? Yes, your very own pretend bicycle. Okay, I have thought of a very nice bike. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm riding my bicycle. La 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 la. <laughs> Why are you walking, Funny? I'm not walking, Susie. Where's your bicycle? It's here. It's a pretend bicycle. It's got sparkly wheels and it's painted like a rainbow. Ooh. I wish I had a pretend bicycle. You can, and it can be anything you like. OK, my pretend bicycle is pink and fluffy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. Do you want to play ball? Have you got a ball? No. It doesn't matter. We can have a pretend ball. Catch, Danny! <laughs> Let's give it a big kick. Oof! Oh! Hello, everyone. It is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with a pretend ball. Until Danny kicked it over there. Oh, I know a pretending game. You have to guess what I am. You're a rabbit. No, I'm pretending to be something else. Are you a donkey? No. Are you a fluffy elephant? No. A space rocket? No. <sighs> this is going to take a long time, isn't it? Ask me if I'm big. Are you big? No. I'll give you a clue. I'm a vegetable. Hmm. Can you give us a better clue? Ask me if I'm a carrot. Are you a carrot? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> Along and beating your drums. That's it! Marvellous marching, children! Wasn't that fun? Yes, my Majesty! <laughs> the next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. <laughs> This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Oh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. Tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man, a broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music, it was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I 
liked the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And me. And me. OK, OK, what does this music make you think of? I know, I know. This music makes me think of jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> this way. <laughs> Follow me, everyone. <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash. Peppa, that's how tall you are. I'm taller than I was before. That's because you're growing up, Peppa. Now George's turn. <laughs> there, George. That's how tall you are. <laughs> I am taller than George. Oh. Don't worry, George. As you get older, you'll get taller. Yes, but I will always be taller than you, George, because I will always be older. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for playgroup. <laughs> Children, today a new friend is joining our playgroup. Say hello to Gerald. Hello, Gerald. Hello. Wow, you're really tall, so you must be really old. No, Gerald is the same age as you. Why is he so tall then? I'm tall because I'm a giraffe. I'm taller. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You measure to the top of the ears. Oh, do ears count? Gerald Giraffe is the tallest. Oh. I wish I was as tall as Gerald. And me. And me. And me. And me. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two, While Peppa three, counts to ten, four, everyone must five, find a hiding six, place. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Found you, Gerald. <laughs> oh, you didn't find me. Or me. Or me. Or me. Or me. <laughs> I always get found because I'm so tall. Oh, it's not much fun being tall. I have to bend down to talk to everyone. I have to bend down to talk to George. Hello, George. What's it like being little? <laughs> What's the matter, George? <laughs> Shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this with both hands. Now, stand on the scooter. Oh. No, George. Stand on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now, push off with the other foot. Like this. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George, you're doing it. <laughs> George has learned to scooter. <laughs> George! That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Wait for me. See you later, <laughs> Mummy Pig. See you later. <laughs> Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. Not so fast. Come on, Daddy. Daddy can't keep up. Wait for me. Pepper and George have arrived at playgroup. Bye bye, Daddy. Bye bye. Bye. Oh. Now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! Ha ha, this is fun. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. Brum, brum. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You will run around the cones like this to win a point. Ooh. But 
If anyone catches the ball, Susie is out and gets no points. Oh. Let's play. Everyone takes their positions for bat and ball. Are you ready, Susie? Stand back, everyone. I'm going to hit it a million miles. Ooh. Ready? Ready. Run, Susie! Run! Oh, yes! <laughs> Quick! Get the ball! Get it! <laughs> I got all the way around. I win one point. Well done, Susie. Now it's George's turn to bet. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I think George is too young to do bat and ball. You're never too young to play bat and ball, Peppa. Oh, all right. Just try your best, George. <laughs> George has hit the ball backwards. Run, George! <laughs> Get it! Get the ball! I'll fetch it! George has run all the way round and scored a point. Hooray! Very good, George! <laughs> Thank you, Danny. And now it is my turn to bet. Aren't you too old, Madam Gazelle? You're never too old to play bat and ball, Pepper. OK. Just try your best. <laughs> Madam Gazelle is good at batting. You hit it a million miles. And now I run! <gasps> Catch the ball! I'll get it! Let's get the ball! It. Hooray! That's one point! The ball is going all the way to the school. Oh, I'll go round again. Oh, I'll get it! it. Oh. It's going the other way. <laughs> round again. Get the ball! I'm scoring lots of points. Get it! Here it comes. Catch the ball! Catch the ball? No. Did you get it, Susie? No. Who's got it? I haven't got it. I win! I win! I am the champion! <laughs> George caught the ball. Hooray! I lose. I lose all my points. Well done, George. <gasps> it's Susie! Hello! Hello, Peppa. Where are you going? We're going to the top. Where are you going? We're going to the bottom. <laughs> Peppa has reached the top. Quick, Daddy. I need to go down to find Susie. I'm coming to find you, Peppa. I'm coming to find you, Susie. Ah, you're, you're going, going the wrong, wrong way. Peppa and George are back at the bottom. But Susie is at the top. I think that's enough escalators for now. But I need to see Susie. Then we can use the lift. Ooh. I need to find Peppa. Then let's take the lift. It's not working. Someone else is using it. We just have to wait. But I need to find... <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Papa, look what I've got. <laughs> Little Susie's in boxes. How did you do that? In the photo booth. I'll show you. This is the photo booth. You sit in here, put the money in there, and then it flashes. It's not flashing. I think it's broken. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> There's more. Smile. When does it flash? Ah, oh, I missed it again. <laughs> to a funny face. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one. Has it finished yet? <laughs> I think I might be in that one. <laughs> Here are the pictures. Look at all of those funny faces. <laughs> again, again! I think it's time we pick up Mummy Pig. Mummy, did you have a perfect day? Yes, thank you. I did, Pepper. Did you? Yes. 
Yes, we went up and down the magic stairs and we saw Susie and did some funny pictures. That does sound nice. Home time! Daddy Pig, did you have a perfect day? My perfect day starts when we get home. Daddy, what's your perfect day? <laughs> Come and see! <laughs> Whee! Daddy Pig is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. It's the perfect end to a perfect day! <laughs> And surprise Daddy! What a good idea! Come on, George! <laughs> Pepper and George are recording lots of different sounds. In the kitchen. In the bedroom. <laughs> in the living room. In the hallway. <laughs> Even in the garden. Peppa, George, Daddy will be home soon. Have you finished recording your sounds? <laughs> no, Mummy, there's just one more. Come on, George, follow me. What sound can it be? It's a very important sound. Peppa <laughs> is going into the bathroom. Flush the toilet, George. <laughs> Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> I've been looking forward to playing my new synthesizer all day. Mmm, <laughs> lovely music. It's even more lovely with the buttons, Daddy. <laughs> Play it again. All right. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> What's that? That's me! We've made lots of silly sounds. Play it again! <laughs> <laughs> it's funny music, Daddy. Oh, oh it certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves funny music. Everyone loves funny music. It's World Book Day tomorrow and we have to dress up as someone from a book. That sounds exciting. Who are you going to be, Peppa? You've got lots of books to choose from. Yes! <laughs> I can go as a sleepy princess. From this book. Yes, I love reading you this story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there lived a... Or maybe I can go as the red monkey. <laughs> I love that book too. Hmm, I can't decide. All the books are good. Why not go as Funny Onion from the book that Mummy Pig wrote? No, Daddy. It has to be a real book, not Mummy's book. <laughs> Thank you very much, Peppa. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. 47685931 Most of Mummy Pig's book is one big long number. Yes, there were a few printing problems. How about this book? The Tiny Magic Fairy. Yes! <laughs> I'm a tiny magic fairy. <laughs> and George, what's your favourite book? I'm sure. Of course, your pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> well, that's settled. George will go to World Book Day as a dinosaur and Peppa will go as a tiny fairy. Or maybe a duck. Quack, quack. It is nearly bedtime. Aha! I'm the happy pirate from the pirate book. <laughs> Pirates are my favourite because they are funny and they sing happy songs and... Brush their teeth? Yes, brush their teeth. <laughs> are we all ready for World Book Day tomorrow? No. My favourite...
favourite book keeps changing. Oh, oh, don't worry, Peppa. You can decide in the morning. Oh, yes. Maybe it was meant for someone else. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Look! It's a picture of me, George and Daddy in our car. Yes, next to a no parking sign. It says I have to have a lesson to learn how to park. Daddy has to go to school. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, 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 Mr Pig. Uh, can I help you? Yes, it's about the parking ticket. It's just routine, nothing to worry about. You're not planning on leaving the country, are you? No. Are you ready for your parking lesson? Yes. Marvellous. Follow me. This is a no parking sign. It is important to look out for signs on the public highway. That's right. Police Officer Panda will now show you how to park. Here is somewhere you can park. There is no sign here. Here is somewhere you should not park. There is a no parking sign. And that is the end of the parking lesson. That's all very clear. Thank you, Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Just doing our job. Hello, Police Officer Panda. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. Say cheese. What? A parking ticket? But that's outrageous. I was only parked for a moment. This sign was clearly visible. And you were parked in front of it. Ho, ho, you're right. It just goes to show that nobody is above the law. <laughs> and even grown-ups get told off. <laughs> <laughs> but today we have a visitor. Ooh. Mandy Mouse. Hello, everyone. Squeak. Hello. Hello. Mandy Mouse uses a wheelchair to get around. Mandy is spending the day at our playgroup. If she likes it, she will come every day. See you later, Mandy. Have fun. Bye, Mummy. Hello, Mandy. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, I'm Danny Dog. <coughs> and I'm Susie Sheep. <laughs> We're drawing pictures. I drew the sun. Ooh. I drew a cloud. Ooh. I drew the sky. That's nice. I like drawing aeroplanes. Wow. wow. That's a really good drawing. Thank you. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Wow, you're fast. All thanks to my wheelchair. <laughs> Why do you have a wheelchair, Mandy? <laughs> because my legs don't work like yours. Can you walk on your legs? No, I have my wheels. <laughs> Ooh. See, I get around fine. I can do everything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play ball. Yes, please. OK, Mandy, you're on my team. <laughs> Susie, you're on my team. <laughs> Gerald, <laughs> Pedro, <Yeah>. Molly <laughs> and Emily. <laughs> the children are in two teams. How do you play this game? The captain takes the ball and throws it over there. No, I know the rules. And the you're one not no, the rules. I say you do it this that way. That is the rules because I said so. <laughs> <laughs> what about the team who gets the ball through the hoop wins? <laughs> OK. Don't worry, there is something we can do with daisies. We can make a daisy chain. What's a daisy chain? I'll show you. First you take a daisy and make a little hole in the stem. Take another daisy and thread it through that hole. Then make a hole in that daisy stem and thread another daisy through that hole. Look, a daisy chain. Wow. wow. Let me try. 
make a hole in the stem, thread a daisy through. This is fun! <laughs> <laughs> we can join them together to make one big daisy chain necklace. There! Now you are the daisy queen, Peppa. Yes, I am the daisy queen. Look at me, look at me! <laughs> no, George, I am the Daisy Queen. You need to be something else. Oh. George, you can be a lion. And these dandelions can be your mane. <laughs> George is a dandelion. Roar! <laughs> George likes being a lion. Roar! Children, come and get your food. <laughs> Everyone, I am the Daisy Queen, and this is George the Lion. Ooh. Ooh. And I know a trick to see if you like butter, Daddy. Really? Yes, you do like butter. Oh, oh I do. That's very clever, Pepper. Can I try? Hmm, yes. Daddy also likes eggs and tomato, cheese. And cake. Wow! How do you know all that, Mummy? Because he's got bits of egg, tomato, cheese and cake all down his front. Ho, ho! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves picnics. Everybody loves picnics. <laughs> this is the Children's Festival. Wow! <laughs> Welcome to the festival! At the Children's Festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Isn't this great? It's brilliant. There's so much going on. What shall we do first? We've got making things, sandcastles, storytelling. Yes, I like stories. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> this is the story tent. All of Peppa's friends are here. Hello, children. If you want a story about a pirate, say, Aha! Aha! Good. Once upon a time, there was a pirate. He found a desert island and he dug up some buried treasure. The end. <gasps> what an adventure! That story makes me miss the sea. I must set sail at once and find that desert island. Captain Dog loves the sea. It's just the story, Daddy. You don't need to set sail. Oh, yes. No need for me to set sail ever again. I like the children's festival. Yes, and not a drop of rain. We've been really lucky this year. Oh, oh, I told you it wouldn't be muddy. A little bit of mud would be nice. This way to the making things tent. <laughs> <laughs> um, today, we're going to learn how to make something from the olden days. Who wants to make a basket? Hmm. Okie dokie. How about knitting an olden day's hat? How about a dragon? Me! All the children are making dragons. <laughs> What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness! Wow! So much mud! <laughs> yes, but it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant! Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the Children's Festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm. Let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. 
Mud castles! <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best! Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh. We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to paint with mud? I know! A muddy puddle! <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. 